Hey, what's up guys? Today I've got for you a brand new plan I've actually never seen before myself, which is saying a ton because I've seen every plan that Pulte's ever built in our town. But this one's called the Bellwood. It's a brand new plan being built out at Talbona, which is Pulte's newest community. It's a great little single story home with a ton of bells and whistles. I think you guys are going to really like it. So if you're ready, let's go. All right guys, so we're out in front of the Bellwood and I apologize, it's super windy today, so I'll make this part quick. Uh, this is the exterior. You've got a total of three elevations, an A, a B, and a C. This is the B elevation. Uh, this home is 1,865 square feet plus, and the plus references uh, options you can obviously add to, uh, add to the square footage of the home. Uh, you've got two to three bedrooms, two baths, and a two car garage. Uh, a couple of the key things within the, the home are a den, you've got a covered patio in the back, and you do have an option to extend the rear of the home by a couple of feet so that's where the plus comes into to play you can actually make the house a little bit bigger out the back end uh, some of the things that are included here you've got paver uh, driveway and walkway of course uh, you've got color schemes uh, within those three elevations to kind of customize the home uh, and you also have your front yard landscaping with drip system uh, that's pretty much it for the front let's head inside and see what they've got for us there hang tight all right guys, let's check out the old Bellwood. I've never seen this uh, this particular plan before. All the other plans of this community, they build somewhere else in town, except for the Bellwood. I don't know if this came from another state or maybe a community that, that's older or one that I've missed, but at any rate, first time for me, first time for you guys. So this is the bedroom two, right at the front of the home, right off of the front door. Decent sized bedroom, 13 four by 10 foot four. So nice size the standard ceiling height here at Talvona is nine foot you can pay for the upgrade to go to ten feet uh, but nine foot's good it's good ten's better of course but nine is not bad by any stretch it still will feel very nice and airy and spacious it's gonna be your bathroom number two sorry I'm moving my paperwork around here my mistake so good looking tile work look at that it looks like it looks dirty, but it's not. It's kind of like an aged color. Pretty cool. And now I like it when they show you something that's standard, so you know what you're getting if you don't kick in the money for the upgrade. So this is a standard uh, tub shower combo that you'd see in any secondary bathroom that's not upgraded for Pulte. You've got a tub shower combo with a cultured marble surround. Now there's a few options here. You can do a, a walk-in shower, right? Removing the tub completely, and you just have the walk-in shower that you'd be able to tile for the surround, or you can upgrade just this tub shower combo. If you actually need the tub or want the tub, you have small children, whatever the situation is, you can remove this cultured marble space and you can tile this to give it a, a, a richer, more finished, elegant look. And you absolutely should do that for your secondary bathrooms. You know, um, it just really gives the house some pop. So if you've got the money, spend it. Can't take it with you, right? I like these floors too. These are wood, not wood look tile, actual wood. Probably an engineered hardwood. And as we head into here, so this house is a two bedroom with a den. However, it does have a third bedroom option. This is gonna be the den, which for me, this is a, a home office all day long. But if you need that third bedroom, you can opt to turn this into a bedroom and then the bathroom around here is going to service bedroom two and three. All right, makes sense. That way the primary bedroom, which is in the back of the home there, you've got your privacy there, which is pretty awesome. But this is a great space here, if you can keep it. Um, I definitely would use this for my home office. I really like this uh, space. It's a lot of builders will call it a flex space because you have a bunch of options here. So you can either do the doors here if you want, or you can do actual double doors that are closed off, no glass fronts, or you can actually leave this completely open. So no piece of wall here, just completely open out to the wall, which is also a really nice look. All of them look very finished. It's just kind of a personal preference thing, I think. I think I'd probably want doors here because if I make this an office, I'd want some privacy sometimes with your own, when you're on the phone, blah, 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 right? Let's see, let's head this way. Hand uh, textured drywall here with bullnose corners as a standard. These are actually squared off corners, so this is an upgraded finish, uh, but the standard is a bullnose, which is a rounded 
uh, finish, if you're not familiar with that term, it's a rounded edge as opposed to the square 90 degree angle. Uh, this is gonna be your garage access door. Uh, this is just a little bit of space here for storage, okay? And then you've got your laundry room in here, which is a really, really nice size. I, it, they don't have the dimensions on the footprint or the floor plan, so I can't tell you how big it is, but it's big. I'm a big dude and uh, I don't feel crowded in here at all. Uh, typically, you're gonna get a shelf that goes over the top of the washer and dryer. The, the cabinets here are not included, nor are the uh, lower cabinet and the sink. And I have mixed feelings about the sink. I always think that's gonna be helpful, but I don't know how much I'd use it. Um, I'm sure you can use it for stains and, and so forth. I mean, the cabinets are definitely useful. I just don't know how I feel about the sink, but that's just me. Maybe you guys are different. Tweets their own, right? Got a hall closet here. Yeah. So there's your coat closet. And then here we open up to the communal space. So I kind of like the, how this is. When you first walk in, it does feel a tiny bit tight. Like the ceiling is tall, but it's narrow down that hallway. But then it opens up to this bad boy, right? Really super open. That big slider back in the corner definitely helps bring in a lot of natural light. It feels really good in here. And you've got this giant window here. Window placement is really important for a house. Um, I'm starting to really appreciate uh, architectural design and the respect of where they place the windows and how much light they bring into the home without bringing in the heat. Because you've got a patio cover out there that's blocking the sun. So you're getting the light minus the heat, which is great. Um, but this is gonna be your communal space. This is called the gathering room. Uh, some builders call it a great room. Uh, my mom calls it a living room. But it's just a room where people hang out and wait for dinner, right? Or uh, spend time with your family or uh, entertain whatever you so choose and then over here you've got the cafe space which is you know typically your casual dining space where the table goes where dinner time is right got some great floating counter or excuse me floating shelves here and then so let's talk about here so as a standard this home does come with like an eight foot slider here and then you've got a window over there this is an upgrade this is the multi-panel uh, sliding door it's really big I think it's if I had to guess I'd say it's like 15 feet the one below this I think is like 12, 9 or 12 feet uh, I would absolutely spend the money to upgrade the slider uh, that's what people want and it will definitely help you resell the home later on when you decide to move on up or down in size uh, it's really a really good option uh, and if you don't have a lot of money to spend spend the money on the slider you're, you're you'll be think, uh, thankful that you did uh, as we head to the kitchen here a couple things oh first off they've got the they got the two-tone cabinet situation going here i like that it's really subtle you don't notice it at first so you've got the white cabinets here at your island and then you've got brown cabinets uh, throughout the rest of the kitchen. But so as a standard, these are 42 inch cabinets. These are the tall ones. As a standard, you're gonna get 36 inch tall cabinets with a choice of two colors. Uh, for appliances, you're going to get a Whirlpool stainless steel appliance package, which will include your dishwasher, uh, your cooktop, your hood, and your built-in microwave uh, oven microwave slash and oven that's your microwave above and then the oven is below uh, these are KitchenAid so they're the upgrade but the Whirlpool would be the standard which is good it's not a bad standard so you've got a walk-in pantry here for extra storage okay and on the countertops you're gonna have these are quartz uh, you've got a choice of two different granite colors for your countertops with a six inch splash as opposed to this really nice, uh, I don't know what color, green, maybe a seafoam green uh, tile backsplash, the full backsplash. Okay, you do have an option of upgrading your backsplash, uh, but as a standard, it's gonna be a six inch. Good looking. I like it, I like it. Let's head over to the primary bedroom and see what's doing in there. This, this house feels bigger. It's deceptively bigger than you'd think it is based on the square footage. Uh, but this is gonna be your primary bedroom. Um, and man, this is a, a king size bed. Look how much space you have on either side of the bed. And, and to the point where they've got chairs and a credenza in here. Like it's, this is a big primary. I think anybody would be happy with this space. It's almost like a bedroom and a retreat in one room. So 
Lots of space there. Oh look, look at that guy. Ta -da. And let's head into the primary bathroom. So in this primary bathroom, you've got your dual sinks, of course, those are included. Uh, you've got your shower with the shower seat, that's an option. You've got a few different options here for the uh, primary uh, bathroom. You can either do the shower with the seat, which is what we have here. Um, this is actually the standard with the, I just said it was an upgrade, didn't I? My bad. It's actually the standard with this linen closet. But you can actually change this and have a tub and shower separately, or you can have a super shower which would alleviate and delete that linen closet. Uh, but these, again, these uh, sinks are going to be standard on your vanity. Here's your water closet there. And then here is your walk-in closet. Really nice. We've still got some blue tape here. This place has only been open for a few weeks, so they're still doing some uh, touch-up and punch uh, list work. Let's take a look at the backyard and see what they've got for us back there. Hang tight. All right, and as we head out the back slider, you've got your patio and check this out. Actually, hang on, let me walk back here so you can get a better look at it. This is going to be your covered patio. That is included in the base price of the home, which is just amazing. Big, super big, built into the house. You don't have to worry about it when you close. You just have to worry about landscaping your lot. This isn't a really big lot, um, but it does help when you've got, you know, kind of uh, the footprint of the house covering the space of the patio, if you know what I mean. That leaves the rest of the lot to just be, you know, landscaped or a pool or whatever you want to do. You absolutely do a pool back here. It's big enough for that, for sure. But guys, that's it for the Bellwood. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, definitely reach out to me. My contact information will be in the description. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have uh, any interest in this home or any other home in the Las Vegas, Henderson, or uh, North Las Vegas areas, my contact information will always be there. Uh, definitely reach out to me if you're looking to buy or sell. Uh, and don't walk into a new home sales office without representation. Bring your favorite realtor, and that is yours truly. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.